she winked her eye and said, There'll be a hot time in your old town tonight. Fire, fire, fire! I said, Thank you so much for joining me today, as today is a very exciting day, as we are launching the brand new book, Sure as the River, by Charlotte Evelyn Sloan. This is the second book in the series, Wandering Back to Saskatchewan. After reading Dot on the Prairie, several readers had a question about the housekeeper in the story. What happened to Liz? Well, the new book, Sure as the River, is the answer to that question. This is her story. Meet Liz Parker an unforgettable woman who was born and raised in the site of the winding North Saskatchewan River. The unexpected twists and turns in her life included the hospital for the mentally ill and a home of unwed mothers. Despite the tragedies that threatened to drown her, Liz remains strong and steadfast as the relentless seasons come and go. She is living proof that love is the one thing that is sure as the river. And here is the author's description. I fell in love with stories at my mother's knee. She spun tales that made us shiver, shake, sob, and giggle. And she always left us begging for more. I have told stories to myself all my life. And finally now, I'm expanding my audience. I was born and raised on a Canadian prairie farm where I was immersed in the security of loving friends and family. Whether hiking in foreign countries or caregiving in my Alberta home, at the end of the day, my stories are all about people. Welcome back everyone and to everyone new who's joining us tonight. It was exactly two months ago that we had our launch party for the book Dot on the Prairie. And uh, since then we've had some awesome reviews and uh, we're just feeling really good that Dot has, the story of Dot has made people happy and um, brought back a lot of good memories. So I do believe that you're going to enjoy this book as well, The Sure as the River. Uh, it's the story of Liz Parker, and we take that journey with her through the decades of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. I'm really fortunate to have my talented team here again tonight. And uh, they're going to give us the flavor of the book by doing some entertainment and also some readings. So our first reading is by Shelley, and she's going to read about the dry and thirsty, dirty 30s. We were young teenagers then and committed ourselves to the cause, excited to be involved in the growing of food. We were the faithful water brigade, taking turns at the pump and passing buckets hand to hand. We fooled around a lot and it became a happy part of our day. That summer, the heat was unbearable, and so we chose to meet early in the mornings or in the evenings. Residents from all over town made their way to the community garden after supper. When the wind died down and the heat diminished, neighbors chatted as they worked with a hoe or bucket to the sound of birds twittering as they put themselves to sleep. There was and is nothing that compares to a Saskatchewan sunset at the end of the day. Dirty 30s or not, the beauty of the prairie sky was unsurpassed. The exception was when the dark dust clouds were blowing and the setting sun gave off an eerie orange glow. That summer, we managed to harvest of vegetables to be shared all over town. To celebrate, Frank organized a fall dance with some volunteer musicians and set up a roaring bonfire. Potatoes were raked out of the coals at the end of the party. They were black and delicious. Just before it was over, Frank commended the teenagers who had put in so much effort to make the garden a success. I don't know who started it, but in the midst of thanks to the teens, someone yelled, fire, 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 and the whole crowd burst into the song we sang in Mr. Peter's music class. Fire, 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 last night when we were rolling beer, I said, oh, lady, Okay. 
Okay, everybody, moving on to the next part. We're inviting all of you to jump right into the party. Here's how you can enter to win a copy of Sure as the River. We will draw a few lucky names from those who participate. Okay, number one. Liz's story involves a 1950s diner and classic vehicles from that era. Send an email to dot on the prairie at gmail.com if you do own or ever did own a 1956 car or truck. Shown here are a couple of cars from the 50s. All right, moving on to number two. This is another way that you guys can enter into the draw. The story includes the prairie soldiers of World War II. And we are asking you to send in the name or picture of a soldier important to you. Here's our uncles, the three Andrew brothers, Heck, John, and Elmer. News of the war was front and center in all of our minds, keeping track of which local boys had joined up. It was common for their mothers to share blue airmail letters right then and there in the post office with anyone who was interested. We sent packages overseas containing cigarettes, chocolate bars, soap, socks, combs, and gum. We knew some parcels wouldn't arrive, but we did our best to cheer on our hometown boys. Monthly Red Cross clinics were held in the basement of the United Church. The community suffered as one. Wartime was a different way of living, and not only for the boys overseas. Even here at home on the prairies, there was a feeling of tension in the air that couldn't be described. The future was uncertain, and many of my friends embraced a devil-may-care devil attitude. Anything could happen, anywhere, anytime. The last time I saw my friend, Ronnie Galley, we were saying goodbye to several of the boys from town who had joined up and were leaving on the train. We stood on the station platform as the train came in. Ronnie's mother was crying as he first hugged her and then his dad. As he stepped up to the train car, he turned and waved to us all. So send us the name of your special soldier and you could be a lucky winner. All right, everybody, now comes the part you've probably all been waiting for, the part where you get to see our famous ticket master, Henry Dick, who resides in Regina, Saskatchewan. Henry is gonna be doing two draws, and the winner of these draws are gonna win books one and book number two in our series, Wandering Back to Saskatchewan. Henry, take us away. Here's Henry Dick, the ticket master, and his assistant, Andrew. You ready to draw a name? Just pick one, Henry. <laughs> which one did you pull? Let's see. Oh, which one? This one or that one? What's that one say? Baby Dick. That one says Baby Dick? Let's see. What does that one say? That one says Alexandra McNeely. All right, pick one more. Me, cousin. <laughs> Just pick one. <laughs> Which one are you gonna pick? Just pick a one. <laughs> 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 Which one, Henry? Uh, oh, is it this one? What's that one in your hand? Uh, Which one? No, it's okay, let's pick this one. I don't know if I'm going to Marg Wasmith. Awesome. Can you wave bye. bye? Bye. I'm going to take a few minutes here to share with you how this book, Sure as the River, came to be. As far back as I can remember, I've been intrigued by mental illness. I was about 10 years old, I think, when my mom explained to me that we were going to meet a very special baby, and she told us that this baby might not look exactly like other uh, babies that we'd seen, and it turned out that uh, she was a, a child that had Down syndrome, and I remember just being absolutely delighted with that little girl, and I was privileged to know her as she uh, grew up. So many of the people that, that I know have been just the best of the best. And they're often people who have emotional or mental illness. And uh, there's a line in this book that kind of summarizes uh, what we're talking about here. And the line is, we are all human beings living under the same sun and breathing the same air. We're all equal. And <clears throat> my brother John 
read this book, Sure as the River, and a couple days later, I received a recording from him, and he wrote a little note on it, and it said, here's a little something for you. And I was just so thrilled when I listened to the recording. He wrote this song uh, called Sure as the River in honor of the story of Liz. So uh, here's a little something for you. Just as sure as the sun shines down on us all as sure as the sun shine above and as sure as the river runs down to the sea you'll find the answer Well, days can be filled with doubts and with fears. You wonder which way to go. Nights can be lonely when you're all by yourself. You wonder, does any spent many long and lonely years in the hospital for the mentally ill. I couldn't take my eyes off the river. That scene has become a part of my life. Every morning when I started work and at lunchtime, I took a moment to look out the west windows and again in the evening as the sun set on the water. The river was high from the June rains in the mountains and was flowing swiftly, totally covering the sandbar that was usually visible in the summer. I could see the bridge and the cars in the distance that appeared to be tiny toys. Closer to my room was the flowered paved pathway and a clear view of the exquisite chapel. This was my window to the world.
I just want to say a huge thank you to Justin Nemeth of North Battleford, Saskatchewan. He let us use his incredible drone footage, and uh, you need to go and check out his Facebook page, SureShot Drone Services. All right, so we've talked about the book quite a bit, and you're probably wondering how you can get your hands on a copy of this. Now, I'm going to tell you the first option. First option is to go on the website, dotontheprairie.com, and I'll have a link right on the screen here, and you can go and check it out yourself. And on the front page, there's going to be a button that says, buy the book now. And that'll take you to Amazon, and you can order through there. Postage is going to be a little more expensive, and it's going to take a little longer to get to you. The second option is you can contact Charlotte directly, dot on the prairie at gmail.com. You can email her there and you can tell her that you want a copy of the book and you can send an e-transfer to her and it's gonna be faster and cheaper. The book itself costs $12 and the shipping is $5 anywhere in Canada. Now, the other option is you can do pickups. You can pick it up yourself. The two options are Alberta and Saskatchewan. If you're in Saskatchewan, it's the Turtlefords and Battlefords area. If you're in Alberta, it's the Devon, Stony Plain and Spruce Grove area. And that'll save you on shipping. And lastly, the series will be available in the Fisher's Drug Store in North Battleford. Go and get your copy of Sure As The River. Now here's a song that you will find while reading Sure As The River. It's an old song from the distant past called Twilight Is Falling. Twilight is stealing over the sea Shadows are falling dark on the lee Born of the night winds, voices of the old Come from that far everybody that is going to conclude our launch party for the book sure as the river thank you to everybody who did the readings today thank you to everybody who submitted the music and thank you to justin nemeth for providing his amazing drone footage 
Don't forget to submit your answers to dot on the prairie at gmail.com for the chance to win some free copies of Sure as the River. This is going to conclude everything, and I want to say thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you for the next launch. Yeah,